Not a day goes by on my biking trips where I'm not climbing. <laughs> All for the best views. Good morning. Day four already. And look at this. It is sunny. <laughs> I almost can't believe it. I'm aiming to end near Stonehenge. Glastonbury tour is on the schedule. Uh, Dirtle, Dirtle door. Lulesworth Cove. So I've got some nice bits coming up and I'm just hoping that the weather stays like this. I see a few clouds all in the back, but uh, yeah, this uh, looks promising. So Cheddar Gorge is maybe nine, ten minutes away. And I'm in so much luck that it's dry, barely any wind. That means I can get thrown up today, hopefully more than once. Woo! Oh, the sun is putting me in such a good mood. I didn't mind the rain, but this is so nice as well, like no rain jacket. I'm gonna switch to my summer gloves again, I think. And then, uh, yeah, so much better, so much better. Cheddar, I had some two-wheeled company and I could already tell I was heading towards a very popular road. When I looked this up, I was stunned that this just starts and ends like in between the normal towns.
probably happy that it's not on camera, but you see that hill? <laughs> I took a little bit of a roll down, aka the shortest route. Oopsie, slippery when wet. And I fell with my hands like in these little fuckers. So that's gonna be itchy for the rest of the day. Close to the tower was a different story, as both my phone and satnav sent me into different directions. Okay. Um, I have no idea where I am at the moment. Supposedly, it's, ah, there it was. <laughs> okay, how do I get there? Like. I think I'll just, uh, yeah, just park it over here. cool views when you're up in the sky like that I'm really happy I added the drone to my uh, gear list but uh, forgive me if it's not super smooth or anything yet but uh, still learning didn't have that much time to practice before I went <laughs> so just fingers crossed and hope it looks good okay I will put on the route again. Go. And it's much cheaper, and there's no battery to be bought every five minutes. The question is, how do we mass produce this? Hello. Hi. How do we mass produce this so that when it gets. Well, five, four. Yeah. 
After some goofing around, I finally saw the coastline appear and I could already smell the fresh sea breeze. Oh, no, it's fine. Is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> thanks. <laughs> that was kind. It's like you can place a little wood under there. I do have my uh, like side stand carrier with me. Okay, you have arrived at Dirtle Door. Well, <laughs> it's really, really <laughs> crowded. Almost good to go. I'm just quickly gonna fill up my bladder. <laughs> World Heritage. Well, that says enough already. I'm taking the elephant path, but um, yeah, it's gonna be a real climb going up again. I'm taking like mini steps going down because I don't want to slide again. <laughs> I get it, I get it. And that's not even the best part. Kind of reminds me of uh, Etretat in France. It's kind of the, the same arch it has here. I will try to uh, avoid <laughs> as many tourists as I can. <laughs> but let me show you the view. One, two, three. <laughs> I think I will have my hands full of shopping out all the people here. But I will show you a, a before and after picture. <laughs> I'm not gonna photoshop everyone out on all of my pictures, but imagine having these places all for yourself Time to head back Beautiful It's really worth the climb down. It's not even 15 minutes. So One last look Wow Beautiful isn't it? They're uh, also kayaking down. I think that's a really cool way to see the Dirtle Door. And you can probably go all the way up to uh, Low Worth Cove. It's getting proper hot. So, uh, that was worth the climb. I'm exhausted. Whew. Done and dusted. Why is my helmet so tight all of a sudden? Probably the sweat. Athlete sweat. Kiki I. Kra kra. For all you F1 fans. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Doing it in the right order. 
like us a uh, little wharf cove is straight down and tarmac and less of a climb now i hope they have like an ice cream something there i could go for one so yeah what can i say another really touristy uh, bit but I just want to see it. I just want to see it. And the fisher, fisherman's uh, gear. Well, I mean, it does have its charm. I mean, just get into the water really quick. I could use some refreshment. Nice. Oh, really cool. Okay, I should probably uh, go up somewhere there. Now the day goes by on my biking trips where I'm not climbing. <laughs> All for the best views, of course. Whoa. And this time is no exception. Oh, nice. to go for a dive? Nope. <laughs> I never thought that the UK coast would be this insanely beautiful but um, I think I need to explore some more and then I'm maybe 200 meters down and there's like no one here. Peaceful, quiet, Got myself a proper ice cream. Oh. Mm. I think I uh, deserve this one. Hello, bike. I'm just gonna stand in the shade for a little bit. It's one and a half hours to Stonehenge. I'm just gonna go for it, see if I can find a nice camping. And if not, then uh, another uh, B&B or something. Right towards Stonehenge was pretty relaxing, but at this hour I didn't have the energy anymore to explore the heritage site and honestly, I was just too excited to be setting up camp. I know I will be back one day. And right to the yeah, so full yeah, just right perfect to that, and I will come and show you. Okay. So yeah, great day overall. And ah, not on my pants, please. Stoked that I get to see so many gorgeous places. Anywho, I'm gonna have a nice dinner. Um gonna grab a shower and then I'm gonna call it a day it's been a good one 
like, subscribe, comment, whatever you want to do. And uh, yeah, tomorrow I will be going into London for a little bit. Let's just see how that goes. I'll see you in the next episode.